You may have seen those viral videos where people draw with multiple pencils at once. In this video, I attempt to draw with more pencils at once than anyone has ever used. This video is brought to you by Volume 2 of 21 Draws, the Illustrator's Guidebook. This challenge holds a very special place in my heart because the person that kicked this all off is DP Art Drawing. Quite a while back, I attempted to draw like a printer, something that this channel has gone viral doing in the past. And I exposed them as a liar and showed how they cheated by tracing while drawing like a printer. And then he responded by proving I was wrong. <coughs> and then I responded to that by trying to draw like a printer for realsies, which I wasn't as good at as them, but okay. I ate my words. I was very impressed, but apparently that's not enough. You go, you're gonna, you're gonna go be more impressive. Let's see what's happening here. So here we go. So holding on one side, okay. So it's rocking back and forth. So are you swapping sides? Is it literally by direction? It is because now you're drawing with the others. Others? No, there's, some, there's something. I've got to decode this. I think I need to set a solid foundation by, uh, by drawing a, an actual picture. Just to be like, hey guys, let's check it out. I can draw pictures. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Thought I'd start off with a warm up drawing. No challenge, no timer, no gimmick. Just a warm up drawing to set the pace and compare my future efforts to. The last time I drew like a printer, I drew a self portrait. So this time I did the same, but now I have a beard, which I think makes me more capable as an artist. And given I'm about to tackle the hardest challenge I've ever tried, I gave myself the most smarmy, cocky expression possible. Now, time to get the challenge started. It's time to go back to drawing like a printer. I'm still warming up because I'm just doing one. This is really what's gonna get the ball rolling. I actually used the obviously previous sketch that I just did as my reference and line by line tried to recreate that same cocky, confident self-portrait to hype myself up for the challenge to come. And honestly, this worked way better than I expected. Like seriously, I am shook. Um, that didn't happen how I expected. I expected this to derail very quickly. Like I said, I, I drew the left one just, you know, the way I normally do. I would have thought that the left one would have turned out better or more accurate. The right one, the one where I drew like a printer, I think looks better. I mean, I mean, am I going crazy here? Is that, do you feel, let me know in the comments. Is that, do you know what? Let's get some other opinions here. Alicia, you're our resident artist. Which one is better and looks more like me? I think I like that one better. Which one is better and looks more like me? That, the one on the right. The one on the right, I drew like a printer. That's the bad way of drawing, Rob. What is happening? Gareth. I like this one. What the hell? The one on the right, I drew like a printer. I'm having an existential crisis right now. This changes everything. That's three out of three people whose immediate first answer was the one I had least faith would turn out all right. I mean, I came in cocky, like ironically, like, yeah, I'm gonna, but you know what? <laughs> Let's do this. First things first, I'm gonna make that contraption. I'm already so nervous about this. <laughs> I have to conquer this one first. If I unlock the secrets of the multiple pencil tool and method, then I can unlock the secrets of being a master illustrator. Or maybe I could just do it the easier way and read 21 Draw, the illustrator's guidebook. This is the second edition, hardcover special edition. And oh, the sponsor of this video, funny that, who'd have thought? 21 Draw has a track record of making amazing art products, books, and videos. Now, those of you who are veterans on this channel might remember this, the first edition special hardcover of 21 Draw, because quite a number of years ago, I actually contributed to this myself. The second edition takes that even further, working with industry leaders in animation and illustration from Disney, Marvel, DreamWorks, tips and guides on digital illustration, layering, lighting, blending, nailing down some simple concepts like expressions in really interesting and well-illustrated ways, as well as breaking down some more complex ideas and illustrations in a really approachable way. The book and 21 Draws online courses complement each other and you can learn more from the book by scanning QR codes in the book to take you to further online learning resources. Crack open the camera, scan your QR code, boop. And there we are with a video ready to launch and dive in deeper into my drawing learning. 
At its core, 21 Draw is all about presenting a unique and extremely high quality learning and drawing experience to you. Go check out the link in the description to get your copy of the second edition or other editions of the 21 Draw guidebooks. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna try and grip this the same way that DP Art Drawing did. They hold it with on the left pencil. I have no idea how this is meant to work. I'm gonna do a super simple version first. So let's keep it basic. I'm gonna draw a rendered sphere on the left and a rendered cube on the right. Definitely more confident in the sphere, primarily because it's the pencil under my actual hand. This side, I chose to do the rigid body 30 centimeters away from my drawing hand. In hindsight, a poor choice. Let's see, let's just keep, let's just keep going. Can't rotate the lead or anything, which is irritating because usually like when you shade and stuff, you know, it smooths out the side of the lead as you go and you, you often rotate the pencil to get the sharp part of the lead to put the pigment down. That's how you get good shading. Uh, okay, well, I mean, honestly, actually, when you play it back fast, it actually looks pretty effective. I'm confident I can do this. Now it's time for me to unlock the secrets. And the first thing is these pencils have got it. Uh, it's too robust and well-made. So I gotta make a new one. Now it's time to tackle the two pens at once challenge. I already dabbled, of course, but the experience of doing it with pencils was not good and also drawing a very geometric shape with smooth shading, as it turns out, was also not good. So having learned from my mistakes, I sort of went with markers. Uh, this was also another mistake. I think there's a reason everyone does it with a biro because you can put down some light markings that makes it look like shading, but you worry a lot less about the shading and pressure. So anyways, either way, it still worked out better than the pencils. And as you can see, when you take your time and alternate between the pens one at a time, you can actually get weirdly amazing results. So amazing, in fact, that uh, I'd be amused or proud of either one of these. Maybe, maybe there's something to drawing with two utensils at once after all. Maybe there's something to drawing with more. This changes everything. I don't, I don't think you understand the gravity and intensity of this discovery. Not only is drawing like a printer a better way of drawing than the way we've all been fooled into thinking you should draw, but drawing like a printer two times at once using this contraption makes you a better illustrator. It only increases efficiency at barely any cost to the outcome. I just created the Mona Lisa and the screen painting at the same time. And that can only mean that if drawing with two pens at once makes you twice as good at drawing, then surely drawing with, let's say, 21 pens at once will make me 21 times the illustrator I already am. You know what that means? It's time for a montage. Oh, that was a lot of work, but I think this proves that drawing with multiple pencils at once is far better than drawing with one at a time like an idiot. Let's go through what I've created and see if you agree. Uh, photorealistic illustration of a tiger with a ballpoint pen. I think that turned out pretty good actually. I draw tigers, I really feel like a man. 
Oh, uh, photorealistic Adam driver, of course. I think it, I think it's a donkey. That one wasn't as good. This one was all right. I definitely stepped up my game with this with this dog. Uh, my Snoop Dogg, I think, missed the mark a little bit. I, I picked it back up again with Leo. I have to say, some of them were a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a miss. But look, when you're drawing with 21 utensils at the same time, some are going to be awesome, some are going to be not that good. That's just part of the experience. Give it a go yourself. Yeah, I mean, I, to, I'm going to be honest, a couple of these in a row, I think maybe there was a misalignment in the pens. I've got to, I've got to work on my tool there. I don't know who this one was, but I regretted drawing the nipple after I drew it. This one I was really proud of. Uh, Aaron Paul, I rushed this one to be honest. It's a little rough. Oh, this is a lady riding a turkey. Uh, and then last but not least, um, but there I, I did it. 21 drawings at once. Hey, you know who lives in this house? A great big phony! All right, all right, you got me. I didn't draw them all at once. If you want me to actually try three at once, I am going to draw with an extra pencil for each million views this video gets. So if this hits one million views, I'm gonna draw something epic with two pencils. With two million views, I'm gonna do it with three. With three million views, I'm gonna do it with four. And I'm gonna do it for real and provide my receipts. And while it was a gag, I did actually put some stuff on paper. So let's check out what I actually drew. I think that's a landscape. Uh, that's a ghost, a swamp. It's another landscape. This is anger. This is my abstract piece representing anger. And this is half of an abstract piece representing anger. So I guess it's representing like fledgling feelings of anger, you know? <laughs> now, obviously I can't actually draw with 21 pencils at once because not all of them touch the paper at once. Also, obviously that was all just one big elaborate gag, right? But I still spent a day making this thing and I've got it, and I've also got a giant piece of paper. I might as well just try and draw a picture and just see how the other pens draw the same picture. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but you probably clicked on the video to see me attempt something like this, so let's actually do it. You ready? So I'm gonna draw the avatar like you've never seen him before, with a beard, and hopefully 21 times. Is it going down over there? I'm actually not looking. I'm even filling in the eye there. There we go. Hey, they, the close ones are all right. So that, that was my main one, right? Clearly we have some not touching the page. He's just looking in a different direction, but actually that's not bad. This is where it starts to go pear shaped, but it's legible. This is obviously where I lost my anchoring. That looks like spaghetti drawn badly. And, but that's okay as well. So this is what it actually looks like trying to draw 21 times at once. But you know what, like I said, as many views that you can get this video and maybe blow me away with some likes, we'll see if we can actually step it up a level or two. But in the meantime, you don't need to draw with 21 pens to draw well, but you might want to draw with 21 Draw, the sponsor of this video. Go check out the book, Awesome Illustration Guides. Hit that like button, subscribe for more ridiculousness, and until next time, I'll see you later. What do we, what do we do with this now? <laughs> I feel like it's a weapon of some sort.